What do you do with the dead bodies of so many soldiers and horses? Now, at the end of the Battle of Waterloo in the summer of 1815, thousands lay dead and mutilated on the battlefield, at the farmyards, at the local makeshift hospital, on the road back into town. The unenviable task of clearing up the dead was given to the surviving soldiers and the local villagers. One or two of the officers were buried with a touch of ceremony and their graves were marked, but for most, they were dragged together, friend and foe alike, stripped of valuables, teeth pulled out with pliers, and they were thrown together into the mass shallow graves. The horses, they were broken and swollen, they were dragged together into pits, their shoes were pulled off and they were set on fire. And for any men that didn't make it to the burial pits, they were thrown on the funeral pyres as well. And despite all of this and all this scavenging, you could still see human remains on the battlefield at Waterloo a year later. And it was the same situation for many a Napoleonic battlefield.